Shalom, shalom, shalom. Um, I'm gonna start off by giving uh as usual, Salakia. Salakia, Salakia. Shalom, shalom. Um, I'm gonna entitle this through the Holy Spirit. Put the prayer in the air. Put your prayers in the air, put the prayer in the air. You know, and through the Holy Spirit, you know, start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I write the Heavenly Father's name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, which means He is, He exists, He is to be, right? Um, he is in all things, right? Bahashim means in the name, and Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai. His name means he's a savior, he's a deliverer. These are the names we're given a call upon in these days, especially with these e evil times up ahead. Um, Bahashim Rakakadash in the name of the Holy Spirit. As a matter of fact, um, let me just start off with the book of Timothy's. All right, 2 Timothy's chapter 3, verse 1. It says, no, This know that in the last days perilous times shall come. Right? Perilous times. Uh Let's just look up this word perilous real quick. Perilous. The meaning of perilous means full of danger or risk. All right. Um, so for those who don't know, recap. Let's do a weekly week recap. All right. Aside them uh, feeding you the nonsense all over social media about um, um, this girl apologizing to Chris Brown. Um, what else been uh, social media fluff? Uh, they've been pushing up uh, Remy Ma Papoose. Um, what are the social media fluff? They, they, they everybody's uh pretty much clouting up. Um, um, you know, because it just be certain things that just be trending hot, trending hot, trending hot. Um, Krayshawn, uh, Rock, um, not uh, her baby, her baby neck. Uh, she walking through Walmart and not holding her baby neck. Um, a few other things they post, you know, social media that you get a few things going on, but for the most part, it's full of the uh, the fluff. So let's do a recap of what's really going on because you had the UN meeting here. For those who don't know, that should have been really forecast about why it is you. These are nations all over the world gathering at one spot at one time. When they gathering like this, it's very essential because why are these meetings so exclusive and they excluding the people. But these are different dictators at a country coming together to speak about plans on the world. All right. And they, they give you hidden codes. The coded messages be climate change. All right. We know what that means. For if you don't know what that means, well, let me tell you, climate change is a key word for regulation. Because when you're saying that um, people are letting a lot of CO2 carbons in the air or, you know, we're polluting the earth. Pretty much you got to come up with a system to regulate everybody's usage on what they're doing to promote or pollute the earth. So when you hear that, think about regulations, regulating your usage of a vehicle, regulating your usage of water. Just think about regulations. OK, that's where this whole um, 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 the, the radio frequency identification technology is going to come into play as well. But just think about re regulations. OK, so. They had it on that. OK, they talked about Russia. They talked about Ukraine. All right. Um, these are the most I, uh, big topics that they talked about. There might have been other things under under um, undertone things that was said that you have to fully watch and go through. But just a recap that was mentioned. Also, what you have coming up um, is a White House planning for a government shutdown. So they're planning for a government shutdown if they don't get what the funding um, by the ending of uh, if they don't um, pass the spending bill before October 1st. So so but before um, October 1st come, if they don't come, then they're going to actually shut the whole everything's going to shut. So what is this effect? Remember what happened before it affected the uh, your taxes. All right. Um, it affected uh, court dates, people courts, because this is federal. Um, uh, federal. Now they saying that um, um, people will continue working, but w what if they said they got they they able to you know they got enough money to keep it to October thirteenth? But what if they don't pass the spending bill, and it goes all the way throughout all of these months, and then people gotta uh, work and remember how that was before. Um, 
People couldn't make it to, to the gym. Some people couldn't continue working. So things were shutting down. All right. Because they're not getting paid for it. So just imagine you working, um, having to work a job, be there, but then you're not getting paid for it. And they're like, all right, we, we got enough money to pay all federal workers up until October 13th. But after that, and then you, you know, two months, three months go by, you're not getting paid. So you don't think that that person is going to be angry. Now, we dealing with people when, especially the law enforcement, you dealing with FBI, you dealing with Border Patrol. All right. What happens when people stop coming in? Crime start to increase. Uh, uh, immig- illegal immigrants start to cross in. All right. Um, courts, settlements, cases not happening. Taxes is not being um, done. All right. Things are getting backed up. All right. And it's going to cause chaos. All right. So the reason they're calling this day prayed up is because uh, this is this is a we going we you know, who's going to help you in that time? If 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 the uh, if the workers ain't there, you know who who you gonna call on? You know, let me get a quick scripture, real quick, man. Um, this is why we always in the introduction give the name because really, aside from us going into the topic and the lesson, that's really what you really gonna need in that. That's gonna be essential. Might not know all the breakdowns, might not know that, but if you got that name and you believe, that's that's it. That's all that matters. All right, so if you watch the first couple minutes of, of just hearing the name and believing that, that that's all that matters, right? Now, you know, works in the faith shown with it, but that's that's all that matters is the name, all right? Acts 4 and 12, neither is there salvation, all right? So um, <clears throat> we, we, we brought out um, uh, perilous mean. Perilous means... So I got a podiatrist name me. It says uh, perilous means full of danger or risk. All right, dangerous. So if you're in danger, all right, obviously if anybody's in danger, they're going to need what? To be saved up out of danger. All right. So to be saved up out of danger, who are you going to call? All right. You're going to call, all right, under the, it says neither is there salvation in any other. Okay. FEMA can't help you because they telling you about like i said they mentioned the um you know, i'm just skimming through articles all right like a, a recap and you, know, you could go through them and read them thoroughly um um fema mentioned about the uh october 4th on their website all right not only fema but other major articles but they're actually telling you that they're going to do an emergency alert test <laughs> nationwide playing emergency alert test on phones and TVs. All right. So all of you uh, people of social media what's crazy is you think you guys will be uh, up on hip on it. But again, it's Esau is so good at concealing certain things and putting out so much fluff that it, it is hard to keep up with it. Only the Holy Spirit will have you like uh, keep up and see certain things. And then you got uh, people that give off so much false news. So you don't kind of like get lost on what to even do it. But that's why you got to do the search. You got to search it out. You got to look at stuff. You got to research the article. See, add it up, line it up. Oh, OK. Find credible uh, things. And, you know, that's how you got to deal with it, you know. And that's all through the Holy Spirit. But the main the main thing, the main thing here is that they're going to be affected by it, too. Everybody on social media, all the people who like to go and watch TVs. All right. You're going to be traveling about out and about. What if you can't contact your loved one? What you can't contact your kids? What if you can't contact your wife? What if you can't contact your husband? What if you can't contact your mother? What if you can't contact your father? You know, your brother, your sister. These, this is a, and what if, you know, something's happening and, you know, it says around 220 approximately, you know, <laughs> that's like rush hour time, you know, how you going, how, how, you know, just think about it. Government shut down. Fucking uh, the phone's going down. <laughs> it sounds like a chaotic, but I'm not saying forecasting that or what's going to happen on that day. But I'm just saying to actually prepare your minds to be prayed up for when that with the perilous times definitely is going to come. I'm not saying this is the day. All right. That is actually going to happen. But some things you're going to you want to be prepared for. Like we always say, you want to get the insurance to be insured before the accident. All right. Um, 
the uh it says let me just go into a little bit of this um it will consist of two portions the nation the national test will consist of two portion tests in wea and eas capabilities both tests are scheduled to begin approximately 220 eastern time on wednesday october 4th the wea portion of the test will be directed to all consumer cell phones this will be the third nationwide test but the second test to all cellular devices okay the test the test message will display in either english or spanish depending on the language settings of the wireless head handset the eas portions of the test will be sent to radios and televisions so your tv your radios and we gotta remember all of this stuff esau could tap into even you know they, anything you know your phones your, your tvs all of that stuff all right this will be the seventh nation nationwide eas test FEMA and the FCC, the FCC deal with the airways, are coordinating with the EAS participants, wireless providers, emergency managers, and other s stakeholders in preparation for this nat national test to minimize confusion and to maximize the public safety value of the test. Okay. Um, the purpose of October 4th test is to ensure that the systems continue to be effective means of warning the public about emergencies particularly those on the national level in case the October 4th test is postponed due to widespread severe weather or other significant events. The backup testing date is October 11th. So that'll be a backup test in case it doesn't happen on the 4th. So once again, you know, not given dates on what would, you know, what would be per se, but to prepare, prepare, you know, through prayer, you know, for days, for things, whenever do, things do go down, but you can see the signs, you know, all right so um yeah and then meanwhile especially in new york city you know i've been seeing i've been walking to people and people main complaint it, it you know it's, it's getting ridiculous with the uh whole um you know um open doors towards um it's getting congested with um what you got ukraine they got um they got a lot of the um, Ishmael. Remember, they let they bring they let Ishmael out. They let the Ukrainians out, and then you got a lot of um, the Northern tribe. You got Venezuelans coming in. You got um, check this out real quick. Venezuela. Uh, uh, taking jobs, and the reason why. Um, Um, I want to go into this is because this is what's going to cause chaos because this is what people complaining about <laughs> even other jakes oh man it's getting crazy out here they bringing all the you know we, we know what America was designed for but now such an influx of everything and the prices of everything is going up so high and then they get you know and they let it, giving funding to others you know they're starting to, they're feeling it and Esau is raising this spirit up, okay, for everybody to blow. He want everybody to lose their mind and go crazy. You know, let's cut the spinning down. Let's bring all these people here. They want a chaotic event to happen. So it says U.S. allowing hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans in the country to work legally. Okay, so even if they didn't have their stuff, they okaying them to work legal. The Biden administration says it's granting temporary legal status see, to hundreds of thousands of of Venezuelans who are already in a country quickly making them eligible to work. You know, and it's not knocking knocking them. You know, at the end of the day, this is the spirit. <laughs> the most is bringing them in. But this moving others to jealousy is moving. It, 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 it's causing a civil unrest. All right. Meanwhile, a lot of people aren't going to not going to take these these jobs, which they're doing because they're giving them the EVs, the, uh, the DoorDash. A lot of people's not going to do it. A lot of people's not doing the, the regular handiwork. So they're going to they they're they're ready to willing to take it. All right. But the fact that they're opening and giving them the uh, 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 um, doing these things is moving the other to jealousy, which Esau already know that that that, that was going to happen. OK, it's making the streets look crazy. All right. <laughs> you see EVs everywhere, literally just be spinning around a block, door dash bags and, and, and freaking, <laughs> you know, cell phones and, and, and app alerts popping throughout the, the, the whole town. But um, hey. This is New York. Get the F back. 
It says, as it grapples with growing numbers of, of people fleeing the South American country and elsewhere to arrive at the U.S.-Mexico uh, border. And you got to remember what was going on with, with Venezuela with them setting up the whole new president and then the same thing they're doing with Colombia when they were trying to replace Maduro. So, um, because Venezuela got, is, a, is a very oil-rich society. So now the people's coming here. Why are they coming here? Because the same people who's take, taking their oil... They got they got to have an agreement like, all right, man, you know, you're going to cause a lot of civil unrest. Are you going to allow they allow? Are you going to allow them to be in a safe haven? Yeah. Here, yeah, we'll allow them to come here, but we need the resources of your oil. So this is a trade off. All right. This is a trade off. These are things that we would when I, that happened. I think that was back in 2018, 2019. See, nobody when we preaching and saying things, nobody even see the effect of it until they see the effect of it. That's why uh, Isaiah asked the Lord, well, wait, how long? He said to the cities be wasted without destruction. Like pretty much they ain't gonna get it until they until they get it. <laughs> you know? And that you know, the it says the move along with promises to accelerate work permits from many migrants, all right, may appease democratic leaders who have pressured the White House to do more to aid asylum seekers. Oh, they pressured it. We need this. But it, so now people are getting at the Democrat. This it's all the same eagles, all the same bird. They just got you confused. One Jake I was talking to, oh man, Democrats, oh man, you know, we got to vote. Bro, they playing both sides of the field. They pushing your mind. They making you hate one to, to, to choose the other one and then the other one is going to play you. They both playing both sides of the field. That's what you're not getting. It says it may appease Democratic leaders who pressured the White House to do more to aid asylum seekers while also providing grist for Republicans who say that President Joe Biden has too lax on immigration. See? The Homeland Security Department plans to grant temporary protected status to an estimate of 472,000 Venezuelans. This is just Venezuelans. Then you got the Ukrainians. Then you got the Mexicans. <laughs> and remember the, uh, the, the Haitians that was at the uh, border in, uh, was it Texas at one point? Right? right? There's a lot going on, man. It's just making it easier for them to get authorization to work in the U.S. That's been a key demand of Democratic mayors and governors who are struggling to care for an increased number of migrants in their care. That's in, that's in addition about 242,000 Venezuelans who already qualified for temporary status before Wednesday's announcement, right? And that was just Wednesday, this week, Wednesday, all right? So, um, yeah, I just, it's like it, man. I hope this, this stuff in the background, Jake, Jake partying. Um, I, uh, just way that this, uh, a building is, is like right next to it, but, um, this hey, hey, he's playing that. <laughs> it's a spiritual song in the background, though. He said, Hear the cry of the Israelite voices. <laughs> oh, 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 what's the name of that song? I forgot. Uh, uh, oh man, he said, Job licking with diseases. Talk, he's talking, he's talking about Babylon, man. You know, he's talking about Babylon, man. And that song is an old, old Benjamite song. I forget, I forget, I forget who the name of the, the thing is, man. I think it's Pop, uh, uh, is it, uh, I forget who it is. Um, it's a lot here, man, because I, I just, uh, um, so let's get some, let's go into the scriptures, man. You know, we gave the name, all right? The, the name is the key, all right? This name is the key. Because what else you going to rely on? Once again, if the government shut down, right? You think somebody would you go to work without being uh, paid? No, you're not. So you think individuals in the federal who's supposed to here to protect and serve you are coming in to protect and serve you with a good sound mind and they're not getting paid? Some of them won't be get, coming in. And those who do come in, come on, let's just be honest. They, they're human, too. You know, they're not like super robots programmed to do whatever for the society. Now, eventually they're going to be like, nah, man. You know, I'm not I'm not going risking my life. I'm not even getting what am I doing it for? You know, you think you think that it's not going to pass through their through head. So what, what are you going to what, what is going to be your protection in that time, man? All right. Um, without it, without without further to do, without further to do, man, we got to do the prayers, man. And um, hey, this this was on point. It's Psalm 64. Psalm 64. Uh, chapter verse uh, verse one, Psalm sixty four, verse one it says, "Hear my voice, O Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, in my prayer." All right, so we praying that the Most High can hear us. All right, 
hear us through the noise, hear us through the the, the, the fluff, hear us through, you know, all of the madness going on. And we ask that what? The most high preserve our lives, preserve our lives, the elect from the fear of the enemy. All right. Verse two, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Because like I said, they had a everybody, they had a UN meeting. They have another meeting too, but more specifically, they just had this. Okay, and then aside from the you and me, and they had the um, they had the um, they got you know you you seeing what's going on. Okay, government shut down. Okay, October four, you know you know it, 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 and then you know what what about other stuff as well? All right, those are just things that's being shown. All right, for whatever reason, whatever plan, or whatever outcome they have. Because best believe this is a play by play. I was talking to the one brother about this. We was talking for like for like 25, 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, hey, bro, you gotta he wasn't understanding. He wasn't understanding. He was understanding what was going on in essence to how you know the, the, the lineup, but he wasn't getting a full understanding of, you know, what the solution is and what the what the results is that they fully want everybody to do. You know, Sirach 12 and 17, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. So your savior is the one who's, and I'm, and I'm speaking to this as far as you, those who say in the government, vote, he was saying vote and government, and all of this crap. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Yeah, the one who's bringing the adversity is the one who's going to be there with the solution. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. So that, that's what's going on. Is to pretend to help. Oh, yeah, we got the solution. Okay, so what we're going to do is this, you know? And everything's going to boil down to this this, 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 this chip, all right? Because you got everybody here, documented, all oh, migrants. We got all, you know, how, how, how's it? That chip, that chip going to be everybody verification code, okay? That RFID microchip, all right? Which is also the MOTB, Revelations 13, 16. That's it. Okay, that's how people gonna get paid. That's how you're gonna identify everybody, legal status, social credit score, all of that. All of that. All right. Have your social media scan, all of that, all at once. All right. From far too. You don't even gotta walk up on nobody. Cops don't even gotta walk up on you. The drone just run run through the area, scanning areas and picking up on your RFID, giving you all your information, who you are, social credit score, social media, all right, how much money you have. You know, and, and, and things of that nature. You know that that's if you you know if you think that's far out, man. Okay, you know, well then you know you you're gonna you're gonna see it when you when it when it happens when you see it. Why you think they're going with a lot of EV cars? You know, it's a big big push on EV. All right, and moving away from gas on more more into the EV areas. All right. Um, it says uh verse two, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of inequity. This is spiritual once again, too. There's nothing carnal you could do. You can't go off the grid. Or I'm, you can't. I'm not going to own a cell phone. You know, like, bro. Just this right here is why the prayer is important. The Lord is basically saying, want, forcing us to call on him and trust in him. There's nothing you could do but that. You can't beat it by any other way. Because you got the the uh, the doomsday... Uh, the bug outs and stuff like that which then in the essence they they bugged out because they're going to go about this war cardinally and, and some people are going to be essential in that day but you got to remember they trust and still in another idea or plan and that's not going to help and work out you know unless they ordain you know I'll, and i'll say this unless they ordain to assist a, a prophet or you know and so and so but you know that's why it says um, those who, in, who who are in the city will die by the sword. Those who are out the city will die by this. You know, there's a scripture on that. Pretty much the ones who's doomsday and went out, they're going to die this way. Because the Lord got you, got a lot of people figured out. You think you outsmarting it, you know. Um, let me get that. Those who are in the city, you know, pretty much. And then those who are in the suburbs... Let me see. It's lucky. Die by the famine. I think if you're in the city, you're going to die by the famine. 
I forget how it goes. This is it, Ezekiel 7 and 15. The reason why I'm getting this, you know, is to back up what I'm saying. I don't, you know, this is these are scriptures. I don't want to not back up what I'm saying, but with the with the scriptures is saying. Ezekiel 7 and 15, it says, The sword is without, and a pestilence, and a famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword. So the ones the, the field ones is the ones who's the doomsday guys. Cause they they already prepped up and known, yo, it's time to move out. You know, we we see what's going on. Like most of the guys, and the guy I was talking to, he was like, man, it's time, you know, got to get out. But yeah, you see that physically, but it's going to, you still going to be affected because he that is, shall be, that is in the field shall die by the sword. And he that is in the city, the famine and the pestilence shall devour him. Can't you really see that lining up? Where was the pestilence when this whole vid thing affected? It was affecting more of those in the city. And then why do you think the famine? Because obviously those in the city don't have farms and stuff like that. They rely on the supermarkets. And if the supermarket shut down and, 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 and you know, the, these ports, now you, which you just had recently too, you know, this is why it's all leaning, <laughs> lining up. What, you, what did you just have recently with, with the truck? Who's bringing in, think about who's bringing in, all right, all, all of the, 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 the foods, the truckers. These are human beings. Then they, they had to go on strike to get a, a pension increase. Now they did that with the UPS, you know, they did that to, to, to appease those workers and stuff like that. But once again, that should raise a red flag to you, you know, that what if these guys did? What if they did go on strike? You got the auto workers on strike right now. There's a lot of stuff going on, you know. But um, it says, he that is in the city, the famine and pestilence shall devour him. That's that's the scripture, man. I, you know, and, and if you look at it in a spiritual aspect and you can see it in a city and you applying it to, you know, seeing this. You can see it real evident. All right. Um, so that's why the prayer is important. You know, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of inequity. Right. Verse three, who will wet their tongue like a sword. This is why it also says in that day you shall be as a pilgrim. All right. Because, you know, you aren't going to be either just dwelling in one spot in the, in the, in the field the Lord going to be having you, you know, for, as far as the elect, who's, whoever's ordained to sustain, however the Lord's going to have you sustained, that's going to happen. But that is, once again, it's how the Lord is going to deal with you. It's not those who think they got this mapped out. Those who ever plan to have things mapped out, the most high got you mapped out. Because you're not calling on him. You thinking you got, got it mapped out, but the most high got it mapped out. It's best for you to say you don't know what's going on in the essence of, you know, how you're going to deliver it. Because even Edra said, whoa. What was me? Who shall deliver me in those days? Edris has got to see the vision. What about you dudes who didn't see the vision? Edris got to see the vision. So the person who got to see the vision, one day at least be able to be like, well, you know what? I see the judgment happening here. Let me let me move this way. Let me analyze it this way. Hmm. Oh, I see you're going to attack this way. Oh, I could do this. No. Instead, he said, man, all of this is everybody getting it. I, who shall deliver me in those days? He just basically said, man, I ain't got this figured out. And that's the most, that's how the Lord wanted it to be. To be honest, I know it sounds crazy to be unsure, but to be unsure is to be sure of the Lord. You know, to be unsure is to be sure of the Lord, you know, because you're going to be more sincere. Your prayer is going to be more like heavier, you know. Um, second Ezra 16, I want to just get that real quick. Um, um, six, 16 to 40, oh, my people hear my word. Make you ready to the battle, and in those evils, <laughs> evils, those ill times. That's what evil means. Eve means uh, times. Eve, like the eve, evening, and ill, ill times. Be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So be ready to go. Be ready to roll. Let's look. Let's look up that word pilgrim real quick. Um, a person who journeys to a sacred place for religious reasons, right? Um, to travel or to wander. Right. All right. That's why it says in Micah 2 and 10, you don't have a resting place here, you know, or and it also says in Hebrews, uh, what? Um, we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come for here. We have no continuous city, but we, we seek one to come. Right. That's what it says in Hebrews, man. Um, Hebrews 13 and 14. But for here, we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. All right. Being as pilgrims, we seeking for the kingdom of heaven. Right, where in dwelleth righteousness. All right, Second Peter's, right, the third chapter. All right, but in order to get there, 
all right? Like the Lord told Edris, all right? This grain of evil seed has to be um, grow. And in the harvest, it has to be cut down. And this is the at the time we in. Then the Lord, this is, you know, the harvest is right. You know, the reapers is about to come, man. The angels, the judgments, those spirits are gonna be poured out. The reapers. All right. Um, Psalm 64 and um three, who wet their tongue like a sword, right? Because they they're speaking. Um, um, the priest that I my um brought out a beautiful thing that 10-4, that's a that's that's a radio code for acknowledgement or like okay. So they could be sending out codes, which they are, all right, because this is a high level serpent now, all right. This is how they move, okay, um, to okay something, all right. <laughs> okay, what? Okay, the order for you know for things to go down. Let's 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 start. Let's 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 bring it in. You know, we 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 gotta start it, man. We gotta do this, all right, because the spirit is picking up in the air, brothers. Is uh, the the Holy Spirit is um. The Holy Spirit of Yahweh by Shimei have uh is is it, you know is 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 so influential now that everyone's you know is is influential. They have is is it, pushing, okay. In verse three, it says, "Who wet their tongue like a sword?" Okay, all right, yeah, because their words is uh speaks legislation. Their 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 tongue is 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 gonna pretty much uh cause judgment to happen. All right. 10 uh 10 4 October 4th there's a government shutdown it, you know that these these are these are uh these are swords and bend their bows to shoot their arrows even bitter words all right bitter words all right you know have everybody phone lined up you know they already got deep fake shit like that so you know who knows how far this go you know somebody give a false fire and information hey have you seen this guy right here he's a Hebrew so he did this committed it you know everybody phone getting an alert at the same time and <laughs> And you ain't even do the act. They got a deep fake project. It's this, the times we in is beyond bugged out scary, bro. They don't even got to get nobody to, you know, I mean, get somebody to do it, but they could, everything could be deep faked out. And everybody's going to believe it because the, the, the way the, uh, the images is, the way the, art, the artificial intelligence and all of this stuff is, and the saving and creating people's voices is, 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 is on another level, man. You know? But it's all part of the story as well. That's what uh, the Lord told us what happened, you know, in Matthew 24. You know, that's 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 what you can see it even more evident now. Of course, the go through it is going to be different, you know, because now you in it, you know. But this is the point of the prayer. We're putting up the, the insurance so the Lord could back us up in that time when we go through it, you know, because when we go through it, it's going to be different. You're going to need the how about Shem Yahweh Shai. It ain't nothing. Once again. If you out there and you think that you're going to get around this on your own merit and on your own planning, you're going to be sorely, sorely confounded because that's not how the Lord is giving it up. But if you cast and put this out, like same thing King David did. This is King David. All right. Look at how the prayer is putting up. You know, he's putting it up even as a king that I need your help. You know, I know he didn't have it saying he have it figured out. It says uh, that they, verse four, four, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. And what is this all about? October 4th, government shut down. Who are they really trying to get at? They're trying to get at the perfect. Who's the perfect? The elect, okay? Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Verse 5, they encourage themselves in an the evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. They say who shall see them. So these are all snares and traps, all right? And that's what it says in Sirach. And that's what you got to look at this. When you look at this life, man, you got to look at this thing like Super Mario, man. And every now and then you get a power up, all right? And every now and then you might get a Yoshi. Those might be an assistance around you. So look at this as a video game. You might have people out there that's going to assist you. Those will be a, a Yoshi or a Luigi around, you know, a support, you know. And this is the age the Lord is opening to. The Most High is opening a lot of support because we coming in a time where we're going to we. <laughs> You know, especially the brothers who they know, like, oh, these brothers ain't take the job. They going, OK, you, you're going to need the support. The supports is going to be, you know, the Isaiah 4 and 1 and things is going to kick in. You know, these you could see it now. But these, you know, the Holy, the, the spiritual powers for uh, a lot of brothers, you know, it's got, the, you know, the uh, it says, I mean, I'm going to get that, too. Is it, you know, ain't a, you know, it's about putting up prayers. But also looking forward too for the, for that because remember if this if these things got to go down those things got to happen too how how those how this one side of is going to be written and not the other not the other going to come to play 
Is it not written that Daniel the uh, Daniel the uh, the twelfth chapter that the great angel Michael will gonna come down and stand up for the children of the Israel in that day? That's that's actually written to happen. That has to happen, and that's 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 Michael Allah. Okay, so that is that's that's not that's that's his hour. That's his time to perform. All right, he's sitting on a mission. When that when that when that angel was sent to to uh during the time when King David went off. The, the, the most high had to stop that angel So you think that angel ain't looking for that, The most high gave that order That's a prophecy That and Michael Allah is going down to do, do Put in that work man Alright um, So Rock 9 and 13 Keep thee from far Keep thee far from the man that had power to kill Right Which is Esau or Edom So shalt thou not fear the dead So shalt thou not doubt the fear of death And if thou come unto him Make no fault Lest he take away thy life presently Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares, all right? It's traps out here. That thou walkest upon the, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city, okay? And when you look at a battlement, you know, because in Psalm 64, it says that they were, they shoot at him suddenly, okay? Where are they shooting at you from? They shooting at you from a high tower, man, all right? When you look at the battlements, okay? Um, let's look up some images of the battlements, all right? This is, this is them. They're looking down, all right, satellites, doing stuff with the phone. They're watching, all right, to shoot at you, all right, to shoot at the perfect, okay? And then, and then, and then, and then, and, 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 who, you know, who we behind enemy lines, right? You the target, so who's going to help you? Once again, going back to the, this whole point, a lesson, Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. All right, it says, um, 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 suddenly the shoot at him and fear not. Verse 5, they encourage themselves in the eat of matter. They commune of land says, commune means to what? Let's look up the word commune. All right, so now you can see more about these meetings that be going on. All right, a group of people living together, sharing possessions and responsibilities. Um, the small French territorial division, the uh, division of administration. Um, what is an example of commune? Uh, the meaning of the word commune. Okay. Well, you know, commune is a sub word of what? To communicate. <laughs> All right. Let's get commune synonyms. Collective, cooperative, fellowship. All right. A commune of land snares. You know, they, I mean, they, they, they're cooperative about it. They're speaking about it. All right. Politics. All right. Um, so let's go back. It says, uh, they say, right? It, it said they, they do it what? Laying snares privately, secretly. They say, who shall see them? And Jay can't. Jay can't. They're, they're blaming the immigrants. Like, God damn. Like, bro, they, these guys are trying to work because they running from their country because their country got sold out and there's drugs. And they like, yo, man, let me get the hell up out of here. Meanwhile, y'all blaming them. Y'all can't even see the snare. Y'all just blaming them. Y'all blaming this person coming in. Y'all... Angry, you know what I mean, about to lose it, and you don't even see the, the traps and snares. Just like the people about to war, war out with each other. You know, verse six, they search out inequities, their competence and diligence search both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep. So, this is why the prayer says, the verse one says, Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Man, you really got to put that prayer up, man. You know, you know, and Barakat that Yahweh, Barakat that was shot by Shimon Kakadash, you know. For you know, for actually assisting Akin with this, this is a book of prayers for you to this is assisted. For it to be written as an assistant, <laughs> it's assisted. It's like just read it, you know? And, and, and that's why I say blessed see that read it. Just read it. You know? Like ain't like you gotta formulate and come up with the prayer. Just read the prayer. I'll help you out. I'll put it out there for you. You know? And with that name back in it, it's like it's activated. All right. Um, I mentioned about uh, um, Daniel through the Holy Spirit, the twelfth chapter. I'm gonna get that real quick. And um, Daniel twelve and one. And at that time, what time? The ill times, the perilous times. Shall Michael stand up? Cause what? Why? Why else would anybody? Why would you? Why would an angel stand up for you? Is this has to be a dire situation, right? Is it gonna stand up for you just because you woke up this morning? You know, are you winning all day? Look at me. I'm so winning. Winning. No, bro. It's going to stand up for you because you're going to be looking in bad shape, right? Stand up, right? The angels of the Lord, right? This is Micah Allah shall stand up. The great prince. Check that out. 
the great prince. So you, my, Micah Allah is known as Lockie, is known as the, the the great prince. Okay, we're standing for the children of our of our people. Who's the children of our people? The children of Israel. And there shall be a time of trouble, mm, such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. That's why you want to pray. You want to pray to be delivered, man. All right? That's the point. Um, you know, also, this is known as, check that out. The horns is going off. Okay, to be delivered, man. This is that's it. One, this, right? <laughs> Horns going off. All right. In time of trouble, man. It's, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's, this was also known as Jacob's trouble. Okay. Um, let me go back real quick. I'll try to wrap it up. Um. Verse six, they search out inequity. I read that. Um, yeah, everyone, everyone is deep. It's, yep. All right. Yeah, but that's the point, man. That's really the point. That's really the point, man. I wanted to get at. I mean, let me read this through. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall shoot them at them with an arrow, and suddenly shall they be wounded. So the Most High gonna get at them. So they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. Right? They're gonna snitch on themselves. All that see them shall flee away. But when they see it, and that's what's going on. A lot of people fleeing away, fleeing back to their countries. They getting out of the inner cities because they, because the the, the the tongue that's falling upon them. Like, oh shit! That's how a lot of people is knowing the stuff going on, but they don't know that they need the name of the Lord, man. All right? But the people are gonna, you know, for the most part, those who see it, they're gonna they're gonna flee. You know, flee into the outskirts, flee to them um, suburbs. You know, some fleeing, going back to the country. I speak to one brother. He was like, man, I'm, his parents went back to Nigeria. He's like, man, I'm thinking about going back to Nigeria myself. I was like, yo, we got to remember to say, well, look at the situation going on with Niger. You know, like this this corruption is spread everywhere, you know. So, you know, you you know, ultimately, I was telling him, you got to you got to tap into this book. You know, you got to tap into this book and that this these are the times. Remember, because I, I spoke to the brother before years ago. So I remember, they, remember I was mentioning, you know, that these, you know, uh, these events would occur. I didn't know how by way it would, but that these, you know, events would occur, occurring that, you know, going to be a time of trouble. And now he's speaking. I mean, when I see it, he just came out pouring out. I'm like, man, I didn't even see the brother <laughs> for, for at least two years. It says, and all them that she see them shall flee away. away. All right, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. Why? Because they're gonna they're gonna be like yo. I remember them. That's why they're gonna um. That's when the the hey the famine of the word is gonna kick in. That's when they're gonna hey do one one land is gonna ask another. Hey, is there righteousness going through it? Basically, like yo, if you did you see the prophets? That's Amos. Uh, I believe the eighth chapter. You know they're gonna you know be searching and looking because they're gonna it's gonna all men shall fear they're gonna declare the work of god they're gonna be like yo i remember those hebrew Israelites said that you know that's what they're gonna say for they shall wisely consider of his doings that's when they're gonna wisely consider of the doings some is gonna be too late some is gonna you know they're gonna be last hour we always say that though through the holy spirit the apostles always say that through the holy spirit it's gonna be last hour brothers they're gonna that's when it's gonna kick in for them you know and that the, that's just the way it was written and designed you know, we push it on there, you know, to so it won't, you know, because, you know, who knows? But the most high knows the righteous shall be glad in the Lord. All right. And shall trust in him. That's it, bro. And all the upright in heart shall glory. <laughs> what do you think they're going to glory for? Because they made it through trusting in the most high, man. That glorifying that day of glory is going to be a different day. Like my man Jay say, it hit different. Right. It hit different. Yeah, it's going to hit different. All right, it's gonna hit different when the Most High save you and deliver you from out of this madness, chaos that's being bubbled up and playing. And no matter where you at, at the end of the day, you know the most. If the Lord is dealing with you, He's gonna deliver you. You know, because uh, you know now that they people are playing, you know, they, 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 and I understand. You know, in the, in the essence, you know, you won't want to be in the midst of the city when these when these things going down for the most part. But if by chance you are, you know, if the Most High is dealing with you and he set forth the delivery, he's going to deliver you, you know, because ain't no telling the day or time or where you're going to be at when things go down, you know. 
Jeremiah 33 and 7. And I will cause the captivity of Ju uh Let me get this real quick. It's like, yeah. Where I'm at? What I'm looking for? I'm looking for Jeremiah. I'm looking for wisdom and knowledge. I'll be this busy time. Nah, I'm looking for Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 and 6. There you go. 30 and 7. Um, ask, ask, alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. That right there is why I say, um, he still got goodness to look forward to. So all of the, yo, this is going to happen that day. Yes, it could sound, that's why you put the prayers up, but it's already written that you're going to be saved out of it. You brothers already written or just to make it that's written in the book of life you're making it through already you know so ain't nothing to fear ain't nothing to uh, trip out about you pray to the most high but those who's gonna make it is gonna make it you know <laughs> that is written it is they already it said but he shall be saved out of it that's why i said if one side is written for terror to happen but then another side of the book is saying that they're gonna make it out then you gotta you gotta take both parts can't take one part and be oh god oh man i don't know what i'm gonna do no the most i see you know you can call the name of the lord the lord said the ones who's written in the book is gonna be saved out of it just pray that you're you are one of them meet the qualifications to be sprayed saved out of it All right for it shall come to pass in that day say if the lord of hosts i will break his yoke from off thy neck how government shutdowns oh yeah we gotta do the re-identification of everybody ids you know it's been long with it with the shutdown and we need census and you know the you know you know so everybody gotta take this chip this is the day the yoke gonna break off right i'm not saying that this shutdown but i'm just giving an outlook you know not giving a time or a day you know, or specific situation, but, you know, conjecturing things, you know, and seeing how things could go, right, through the Holy Spirit, and will birth stop bonds, all right, all right, you, you're no longer part of the state, you're no longer part of this, uh, this society, because this is what is, this is what is bringing forth, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him, oh yeah, and speaking of that, uh, because the vocab in them did that whole thing with the, uh, uh, uh um, the guy tried to say, well, well, if you're not under the curses of if you have a shot to go, if the Lord took away the curses of the, of the uh, 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 took away the curse of the law, then how are y'all still under the curses? Well, was not Yahweh shot himself paying taxes to the Romans was not uh, 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 do not we uh, work to this day. All right. We're not even supposed to be working and paying taxes to this day. So obviously we are under the curses. <laughs> if you just simple as paying taxes, all right, you are under the curses, okay? As a Hebrew Israelite, okay? You can't say, well, everybody's paying it. No, we're talking about the, the, the sons of God now. We're not just talking about everybody. Y'all like to talk about everybody. What if your son was paying? You talking about the, the, the son of the most high, the, the, the people, the, the, the people of the Lord who made this heaven and earth. That's why Edra said that. You know, if we if the earth was made for us, why don't we rule? Are we ruling it? All right, who's at the UN? Do you see Jake? Do you, you see no? So obviously, the curse of the law was taken away, where the judgments aren't being done for an individual being put to death if he say committed adultery or committed certain acts. The Lord gave grace that but other, other person can understand, repent, and come inside this truth. But we all under under the curses. All right, and like I said, even the Lord Himself. Had to pay tax. He said, "Render the Caesar with Caesar's." All right, and and, and, and um, great points made by the uh, elder Yahshua Umba from Texas that these rulerships, right, was already said that set forth to happen. Daniel's the seventh chapter. It goes into the, it, these end time rulerships. So if these was gonna be ruling for the in the end time. All right, and in the curses it says that you know you shall they shall be the head, you shall be the tail. Then, and then we're still under those curses. Because who's the head? Who do you go to get your loans from? Come on. So the Lord didn't take that away. He took away the curse of the law in which they're, they're trying to 
Well, they, they're trying very hard, but it just don't make sense because they themselves pay taxes. They themselves have to clock in for work. They themselves have to have an ID if they get pulled over by an officer. You think you think that if the king, the Lord, like you think that that's going to happen for those who rule the earth? How is somebody going to pull you over and ask you five? You think the Rothschilds or, or the, the rulers of the society get pulled over? They got they got lands and stuff to themselves. They, they, who's who's going to tax them? Who's going to question them? Who's going to, you know, come on, man, get out of here. You got to shoot, fly shoot, you know. But anyway, I said because it says, uh, what did I, what, 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 oh, because strangers shall serve, yeah, no more serve themselves of him. Right, that's going to be the day. That's going to be the day where the, uh, where them curses is going to be getting ended. Because they serve themselves of us. That's why Nehemiah said that in, um, you know, the precept came to mind through the Holy Spirit because Nehemiah said that. You know, I know I'm kind of, um, jumping elsewhere, but just real quick, man, because, and I ended off, Lord willing, this was edifying through the Holy Spirit. But for those, you know, who want to uh, stay tuned for this part of it, because it says, uh, Beho uh, Nehemiah 9 and 36, Behold, we are servants this day for the land that thou gave us unto our fathers to eat the fruit thereof and the good thereof. Behold, we are servants in it. All right. Remember, this world was made for us. Don't you pay for water? If you pay for water that was made for you, that means that you you you're um you're uh you're under the curses. All right, I would have uh, limitations five and two. I want inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. All right, <laughs> we don't we're not in the land of Israel. We are orphans and, and fathers. Our mothers are as widows. We have drunken water. We have drunken our water for money, and our wood is sold unto us. <laughs> What you mean you're not under the, this? That's part of the curses. All right? They're going to take your land. You know, they're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to work. You know, you're going to, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. All right? We have, we have given the hand to the Egyptians and the Assyrians to be satisfied with, right? Yeah. Anyway, man, these guys, man, sometimes, man, it's when you try too hard, you know, you, you know, you don't really, you don't, you don't look out, look in the mirror and see how dumb you are, you know, and that's just really what it is. Cause he was like, this is the kicker right here. This is, and then I said, man, this dumb nigga right here got got to pay taxes, trying to prove a point, but knowing his ass is still underneath the damn curses himself, you know, is crazy. You got dudes to this day that go to uh that are um don't get to see their kids. You know, they, they, you know, through the court system. Now, that happens a lot with so-called black, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? Well, hey, matter of fact, this actor, the comedian, he got to pay $20,000 in spousal support. You know? Yeah, like, these, these are all uh, all curses that's going on to this day. Where you going? Come on, bro. You know it don't make sense what you're saying. But just so you could just try to trip somebody up, a newcomer, you're going to say it. Because then that person might be like, wow, yeah, dang, man, that, and, and like the other Yashmama said, that is a good question. You know, it is a good question. But I'm just saying in regards to how this guy is coming at it, you know, these guys are not like fully revealing and looking at it. But it's a good question for somebody who, who you know, who is sincere, you know, and saying, well, you know, if he took away the curse, why are we still up underneath the um, the actual um, the curses in Deuteronomy? The curses in Deuteronomy is applied to us as a nation, you know. Curses of the laws is that if an individual did something, then that judgment should come upon him. Well, overall, the elder brought out these were rulerships who already prophesied to come. So as long as these rulerships are in there, then we are under the curses of Deuteronomy because these we are being servants underneath another rulership. You know, and that's, that, that's evident. Um, verse 37 It yielded much increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us See, you got a king over you You're under the curses, okay Because of our sins, also they have dominion over our bodies All right <laughs> You got a clock in, they can tell you, you know, what to do You're under the curses And over our cattle And at their pleasure, we are in great distress And because of all this, we make a sure covenant And write it in our princes, Levites, and the priests seal, it, seal unto it all right, and it all did but happen to sin. I was our sins talking about what we got cursed as what as a nation. 
All right. And then you got the uh, individual uh, um, that was taken out. OK, for individual being judged. That's why when they tried to uh, stone the, the woman, you know, Yahweh Shah said he told the sin no more. But he said, yo, you know, pretty much like he without saying uh, um, cast the first stone and they all left. But that's why the Lord took away uh, the curse of the Lord to give that grace. OK. Nevertheless, um, I know that was just, you know, I just wanted to mention that, man, that was because uh, of that Jeremiah. So, you know, um, let me just finish this off. Jeremiah 33 and um, 8. Um, no, I'm going to go to a verse. Why well, am I at 33? I keep going to 33. You know what? This is spiritual. I keep going here too. Behold, um, verse thirty-three and seven. Hey, that's spiritual. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return, and will build them as at the first. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity whereby they have sinned against me. I will pardon all their iniquities whereby they have sinned. This is when. This is yeah. This is spiritual. I don't know. How I keep going, but this is when. The Most High is wiping away, complete all the curses. We're being free from it. We, you know, uh, um, going to new, new heaven, new earth, a new rulership. Yep. Whereby they have transgressed against me. And it shall be to me a name of joy and praise and honor before all nations, all the nations of the earth. Are we a praise before all the nations of the earth? No. All right, but that's going to happen. We shall hear all the good that I do unto them. And they shall fear and trouble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. Man, that's beautiful, man. Barak at Yahweh, Barak at Yahweh, Shabbat, Shemar Kodesh for that day, man. All right. We're back at Jeremiah 30 and um, let me get to eight. But they shall, hit it, this is the point, but they shall serve the Lord their God and David their king who I will raise up unto them. Same thing in Amos, the ninth, ninth chapter, right? Uh, and that, and that's, that's what's going to go on, man. You know? Uh, verse 10, last point. Therefore, fear thou not. And don't fear, man. O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed. All the crap, all oh, October 10 4, just shut down. No, no, no. Now, it should move you to pray. It should move you to, you know, you know, be on, you know, uh, you know, because the scriptures say, uh, I sharpen the sword. Should, should they then make mirth? You know, you know, it's, you know, you got to, you know, you get your mind right. But, um, you don't want to be, you know, uh, more so like, oh, you know, it says, for lo, I will save thee from afar. Because the most I going to save you from afar, from well, the way of chariots, man. And they, and I see from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and shall be in rest and be quiet and none shall make him afraid. Right. Niggas ain't going to be coming on October 4th. Oh, man, 5G. Oh, chips and all. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, we got to shut down this day. Oh, yeah. Look at war. this. You know, it's like, damn, you know, you get fucking anxiety through this damn thing. You know, oh, man, we're coming for your kids. Better file. Oh, you know, <laughs> goddamn. Like, shit, you don't even know what to, you don't even know what to block first. Do I block my my feet, face, toes, knees, you know what I mean? Heart, chest. You know, damn, they attack it everywhere at once. You know? It's like you're getting jumped. Verse 11, for I am with thee, save the Lord, to save thee. The most I am with you to save you, not to hurt you. Though I make a fin of end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. But I will correct thee in measure and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. So that's what the Lord did. Um, For thus saith the Lord, thy bruise is incurable and thy wound is grievous. Uh, um, well, that was that was the main point. Verse, uh, I got to stop that verse um, 10. You know, none shall make us afraid. All right. Lobeliness is an edifying lesson. Again, giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim Kokadash. Another good uh, Psalm, Salak here. Psalm 23. I'll end it with that. Uh, Psalms 23 and 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Got to call that name. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. 
that prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies, that anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yeah, all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Another one is Psalms 91 is a good one. Uh, also Psalms 121. Psalms 121 and 1, I will lift up my eyes into the hills from whence my help, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Check that out. Which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He's going to shake you up. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. All right. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. All right. It is the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. His name is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. That's it, man. You want your soul to be preserved, right? You don't want these ill days, uh, these evil days to uh, spoil your soul, man. The Lord shall preserve thy soul, man. That's what Esau wants to corrupt. That's why he's doing all this madness. He wants you to spaz out. He wants your soul to, you know, to get corrupted. You to do, you know, it's just an experiment, you know? And really the Lord's using them to test it, but... You want to pray we, we be of those 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 uh pure souls, man. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. So that's a good prayer, man. You know, if you want to be protected when you're going out and about. But when these things go down, you know, no matter where, you're covered. You know, you got that insurance. That's just like when you're going and driving your car. No matter where, what state you, you're going to, you you covered all the way around. You know? Um... With that being said, man, uh, let me get a one real quick, straight to the point. Psalms 91 and 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. That's it, man. That's it. All right. So when Micah Allah come down... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's for the elect. It ain't for everybody else. Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. You know? Uh, Start from verse 6. The poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. All right? All right, man. You know? Um... Uh, verse 15 The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous And his ears are open unto their cry That's it That's it man uh, Verse six, 17 The righteous cry And the Lord heareth And delivereth them out of all their troubles Man Barakat thy Yahweh Barakat thy Yahweh Shabbat man And that's, 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 that's it right there man um, yeah, well, with that being said, call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Kakadash. Next time, Shah.